Joe Flacco has been dominant at home in the month of November. He and the Ravens looking for some magic in the second half of the season beginning today. And his counterpart, Blake Bortles, can he get his first road win as an NFL starter? Today's game being broadcast in Spanish where available using the SAP button on your television. Well, heavy hearts here in Baltimore after the tragic events in Paris on Friday. Morgan Cox and Baltimore paying homage to the victims as a Cox running out with the French flag here moments ago. We talked about the mild temperatures up into the low 60s. Hard to believe here in the month of November, but wind expected to be a factor. You see the uh, flags whipping around the field high above the playing surface at M&T Bank Stadium. Baltimore winning the toss. They defer, and so Jacksonville with Blake Bortles will have possession to start. Justin Tucker, who is responsible for both of their game-winning field goals on the season and their lone two victories. Boots it through the back of the end zone. Nick Marshall and company will take it at the 20. Here comes Bortles. We mentioned his career-high passing output Solomon from last week in that five-point loss at the Jets. Yeah, but when you talk to the Baltimore Ravens, they sort of talk about Blake Bortles and says that he reminds them of a young Ben Roethlisberger, the ability to escape and to extend plays and then throw the ball down the field to his two talented wide receiver. Jacksonville 13 straight road losses dating back to week 13 of the 2013 season. On first and 10, this is T.J. Yeldon, the rookie runner out of Alabama. Former second round pick, Chris Canty in that defensive front, able to hold for Baltimore. Starters, Luke Jokel, one of the headliners, still trying to justify that high draft selection they took him second overall three years ago out of texas a and m we mentioned alan hearns in a walking boot hard to believe early this week that sprained foot but uh, has deemed himself fit and makes the start yet to miss a game in his two seasons out of miami Yeldon losing a couple so this is second and 12. end around play this is marquise lee out the last five plus weeks with an injured hamstring, he picks up three yards to set up a third down coming up. How about the defensive starters, a unit that has been uncharacteristically poor this season. Timmy Jernigan, who goes back a long time, former high school opponent of Blake Bortles in Florida. You saw the linebackers and Lardarius Webb slowly but surely working himself back to full strength. A multitude of injuries from Webb over the last season plus. Bortles from the gun on third and nine hit. Football comes loose. The officials say incomplete pass. It's Courtney Upshaw coming from the blind side, and Bortles never saw him coming. Yeah, the left tackle, Luke Joko, he allows him to come look right across the top. Beating the left tackle, Joko's got to do a better job of protecting his quarterback, and we see it coming in. The offensive line's got to protect Blake Bortles, and he has to protect the football. You allow your quarterback to get hit early in games and to lead to those critical errors later in games. Courtney Upshaw, who stepped into the spotlight after that opening day injury to Terrell Suggs. Only three career sacks. And this one today, able to be responsible for that incompletion. Brian Angers punt. And a fair catch signaled by Jeremy Ross. So good field position for Joe Flacco. After the 49-yard punt, here he comes, the former Super Bowl MVP back in 2012. And Salmon, one thing about Flacco, he has been dominant in this stadium in the month of November among the all-time best winning percentages going back to 1950. Well, he's always remained cool under pressure, and no season has tried Joe Flacco and his patience and his calm demeanor like the 2-6 and six season that they're off to in 2015. Flacco also very good after the bye week in his career. Six and one after the bye over his first seven seasons. Here he is after the play action on first and ten. Has his man up the seam, wide open, and an excellent start. He finds Nick Boyle, their third string tight end. 25 yards and a first down. Nick Boyle is lined up on the line of scrimmage, and it's just a nice route thrown here. And we talked about Flacco, his ability to drive the ball down the field. And this is just really good route running by Boyle and what a throw to beat the coverage by Joe Flacco. I expect Flacco to have a big time game here today. After the big first down play, this is Justin Forsett. Trying to recreate his season.